We all need to eat, but for millions of people, putting food on the table has become a daily struggle. The COVID-19 pandemic has highlighted a serious issue we face, food insecurity. The rising cost of food is putting pressure on households, and supply chain disruptions are leading to shortages in stores across the country. The pandemic has shown us that our food system is vulnerable to shocks, and we need to build a more resilient system that ensures everyone has access to healthy and affordable food. Our food system is highly complex, and many of our foods are imported from other countries. This long supply chain is expensive and makes our food system vulnerable to disruptions. At the same time, our reliance on industrial agriculture and factory farming practices is damaging our planet and our health. Chemical pesticides and herbicides are commonly used in agriculture to control pests and weeds that can harm crops and reduce yields. While these chemicals can be effective in protecting crops and increasing productivity, they also have significant drawbacks that can have negative consequences for human health, the environment and the sustainability of our food system. Chemical pesticides are designed to kill insects, rodents and other pests that can damage crops. They are typically sprayed on fields in large amounts, which can lead to the contamination of soil and water resources. Some pesticides can persist in the environment for years, and their use can lead to the buildup of toxic residues in the food we eat. One of the biggest concerns with the use of chemical pesticides and herbicides is their potential to harm human health. Exposure to these chemicals can lead to a range of health problems, including cancer, neurological disorders and developmental delays in children. In addition to the risks to human health, chemical pesticides can harm beneficial insects such as bees and butterflies, which are important for pollination and maintaining healthy ecosystems. Processed foods are often cheaper and more accessible, but they are also high in sugar, salt, and fat, and can lead to chronic health problems, such as heart disease and diabetes. In addition, the meat we consume is mostly produced through factory farming, which is terrible for animal welfare and has devastating consequences for the environment. Another issue is food deserts. A food desert is an area where there is limited access to affordable and nutritious food, particularly fresh fruits and vegetables. Food deserts are typically found in low-income urban and rural areas where grocery stores and supermarkets are scarce, and residents have limited transportation options. In some cases, the only food options available are convenience stores, fast food restaurants, and small corner stores that offer mostly processed and packaged foods that are high in calories, sugar, salt, and fat. Food deserts can have serious consequences for the health and well-being of people who live in these areas. Without access to fresh and healthy foods, people are more likely to develop diet-related health problems such as obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. These health problems can have a ripple effect on the community, leading to higher healthcare costs, lower life expectancy, and decreased quality of life. Food deserts are a complex issue that can be caused by a variety of factors, including economic and social inequalities, transportation challenges, and the concentration of unhealthy food options in certain neighborhoods. The good news is that there are solutions, and we can all be part of the solution. Already, many communities are working to improve access to healthy food by supporting local farmers markets, community gardens, and other initiatives that increase the availability of fresh produce in low-income areas. One of the ways to address food insecurity is to grow more food locally. By supporting local farmers and growing food in our communities, we can reduce the cost of food and provide fresh, healthy produce to people in need. But we can also take matters into our own hands and grow some of our own food. With hydroponics, aquaponics, and raised bed gardening, we can grow fresh produce in our own homes, even in small spaces. These methods require less water, less space, and less energy than traditional farming, and can be a great way to supplement our diets with healthy and nutritious foods. Hydroponics is a method of growing plants in nutrient-rich water, without soil, Aquaponics is a combination of hydroponics and aquaculture, where fish and plants are grown together in a closed-loop system. And raised bed gardening involves growing plants in containers filled with soil, which can be placed on patios, balconies, or even on rooftops. 
These methods are accessible to anyone and can be a fun and rewarding way to connect with the food we eat. Let's work together to create a more resilient and sustainable food system that works for everyone. By supporting local farmers, growing food in our communities, and even growing some of our own food, we can ensure that everyone has access to healthy and affordable food, now and in the future. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our blog at www.securingafood.com where we will share tips and tricks as well as answer your questions and help everyone to grow more food and explain how you can support your local food sources. Please like the video and subscribe to learn more.